My name is Jennifer Wakefield. I was in the United States Navy for five years. I was an air controller and I did air warfare and I served in Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Being from a small town, I could not wait to spread my wings and fly. So um, as soon as I talked to a recruiter when I was 17, I begged and begged and begged my dad to sign the paperwork to allow me to join the military. I went into the delayed entry program, joining the military shortly after I graduated high school. My job in the Navy was um, originally air control, which you know was exciting for an 18-year-old to learn such difficult things, but when I switched over to the side of air warfare, it all changed for me. Um, I realized that I was a part of something that was so destructive, but in other ways was a support to um, our troops, and I really struggled with that, um, knowing what I was taking part of could kill people or be a part of something so devastating, but also the pride that I carried by um, serving my country and doing something that very few people, um, literally less than 10 people out of almost 5,000 on my ship knew how to do. Um, it really made me feel a sense of pride about what I was doing in the military. So this is um, A Sailor's History of the United States Navy, and this is a book that you get in boot camp. Um, when you're there, um, they try to make you understand how the, you are playing a role in history, but it's not really something that um, I really thought about or even connected with until um, I, I made the realization one day that I was a, very much a part of history and um, the operations that I was taking part in. The history that I was taking part of was something that one day my kids will read about in textbooks and um, once I realized that realization I ended up reading the entire book after the fact because um, it became so much more interesting to me. I think every day is Veterans Day, not just the day that you see on TV that you're supposed to get a free meal from Applebee's. But if you know somebody that's a veteran, you don't really know their story, but you know that they are one, ask them to tell you a story or shake their hand and recognize that less than 1% of the population has served their country. And that's a pretty awesome accomplishment. Every veteran deserves a listening ear and a handshake.